Whitehouse, star Lucille Ball, production Miss Grant Takes Richmond, director Lloyd Bacon. The Hollywood screen directors present a tale of arms and the secretary. Tonight, transcribed for the first time on the air, the motion picture comedy, Miss Grant Takes Richmond, starring Lucille Ball in her original role of Ellen Grant. Fifteen second tale. Now, ready, girls? It begins. This will only take a few seconds, Mr. Richmond. Oh, there's no hurry. I must apologize for Miss Grant. We usually try to hide her when we have visitors. <laughs> All right, girls, time. Hey, Miss Grant. Hey, Miss Grant. Miss Grant! <laughs> Miss Grant, please pick your typewriter up off the floor. And now, Mr. Richmond... It's all right, Mr. Woodruff. I'll take that girl. Hey, that girl? Very well. Oh, Mr. Richmond, that's Miss Grant. That's right. Richmond takes Miss Grant. Uh, Mr. Kilcorn, I want you to meet our new receptionist, Miss Ellen Grant. Receptionist? How do you do, Mr. Kilcorn? I'm sure I'll please you. I have a diploma here from the Woodruff... Uh, never mind, Miss Grant... One more thing. Yes, sir. That room that Mr. Kilcoin just left. Yes, sir. It's our conference room. I see. Uh, no one but Mr. Kilcoin and myself is permitted to enter. Is that clear? Yes, yes, perfectly clear. Fine. Mr. Kilcoin, the conference room. Yeah. Hey, Dick, are you nuts? What do we need with a receptionist? She thinks we're in the real estate business. Besides, she's a perfect front. Nice eyes, nice hair... And nothing under it. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, yeah, 200 a win. Morning Star, 8th at Pimlico. Right. Some booky outfit we are with a dame yet. Don't worry about the dame. She was the dumbest one in the whole school. So is my wife, but I'm still paying her alimony. <laughs> <laughs> Look, if you're so worried about her finding out, why don't you give her some dictation? Here, uh, answer this circular. Tell them we'll buy the property. Buy it? Well, what's the difference, so long as we don't send the letter? Okay, but we need a secretary like a horse needs a yacht. Hello, 200 across the... Okay, Miss Grant, I got here a letter for you to answer. Now, take this. Uh, <clears throat> to the uh, Sunset Knowles Estates, uh, in your offer to sell 20 choice acres... Uh, am I going too fast for you? Oh, no, sir. Nobody can go too fast for me. Why not? Well, when I get stuck, I just put in a doofer. A what? <laughs> a doofer. You see, when I can't remember the right sign, I just make something else do for it. <laughs> <laughs> do for it. Uh -huh. Oh, you're a genius. Oh, no, I'm no genius. No kidding. <laughs> well, take the rest of the letter up. Offered to sell 20 acres of choice land at $60,000, we'll take it. What are you going to do with it? Hmm? Oh, well, we'll build some of them their uh, dream houses. You mean a low-cost housing project? Uh, yeah, yeah, one of them. Why, I think that's wonderful. People in this town need cheaper places to live. Especially after we get through with them. <laughs> uh, you Sir? type that up, Miss Grant. Uh, if you forget a way... I'll just put in a doofer. Yeah, a <laughs> Civic Center. Judge Grant, please. Hello? Uncle Ben, guess what? You been fired? <laughs> no, I haven't been fired. You haven't? Then your boss must be an idiot. No, he isn't. He's going to build a low-cost housing project. Oh, I can't talk any longer, Uncle Ben. A lady just came in. Uh, yes, madam, can I do something for you? Well, that depends on whether you're Dick's secretary or his hobby. Where is he? Oh, uh, whom shall I say is calling? Peggy Donato. I'll go right in. Oh, but you can't go in there. That's the conference room. I know, and I got some tall talking to do. Dick, look who's here. 
Well, aren't you going to kiss me, Dick? As I recall, the last man to kiss you is now among the dear departed. He just wasn't up to the strains of our business, Dick. But you are. I want you back in my organization. Look, get this, Peggy, and get it straight. You're big time bookmaking. I'm small. I like it this way. It keeps my lifeline long. Does it also keep you playing footy-footy with Miss Dreamy Puss out in the front office? That's strictly business. Should have been that way with us. Oh. In that case, my sweet, goodbye. But, Dick... What is it? That lifeline of yours has suddenly become a lot shorter. Well, Bright Eyes, who do you think you're kidding with that hunt and peck system? I beg your pardon? Are you too busy to give Dick a message for me? What kind of a message? You better write it down. You do write, don't you? Mrs. Donato, any word you can pronounce, I can write. <laughs> Wonderful. Tell him I have an investment he'd better take. 5000 on the Flywell property at Belmont. 5000 Flywell property at Belmont. I have it. Congratulations. I knew you'd make it. Oh, and I had such a wonderful comeback. Uh, Miss Grant. Yes, sir? I'm going out to invest in some racetrack properties. Uh, yes, Mr. Richmond. Oh, I almost forgot. Here's the letter Mr. Kilcoyne asked me to type up. Oh. Oh, oh dear. Miss Grant, why don't you get a cushion and type on the floor? <laughs> yes, sir. Well, let me see the letter. 60000 is the price, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, I've changed my mind, Miss Grant. Fifty-five is my top offer. Oh, but what about the low-cost housing project? I'm afraid we'll have to forget about that. Forget about it? All those wonderful plans? Well, there must be something I can do. There is, Miss Grant. Just stick to your doofers. <laughs> Miss Grant, where have you been all afternoon? Smoothing the way for better housing, Mr. Richmond. Hello, Mr. Kilcoyne. Greatens. Here, I'd like you to meet my Uncle Ben. Glad to meet you, Mr. Richmond. My uncle and I have arranged it so you can buy the Sunset Knolls property for $50,000. Isn't that cheap? Mm-hmm. It's a steal. Mitre. <laughs> we even brought the papers. The same here, and that check is uh, I'm sorry, but I've reconsidered the deal, and, uh, well, I don't think we'd care to do business. The transaction seems to be a very wise one. And my uncle ought to know he's a judge. A judge? I resigned from the firm. Uh, kill coin. <laughs> kill coin. Since, uh, since the judge feels so strongly about this, why, we'll sign. Oh, good. Just sign here, Mr. Richmond. Thank you. Miss Grant, there must be some way to reward you for this wonderful achievement. And we'll find it. Oh, Mr. Richmond, the only reward I want is the privilege of doing more. That's what I figured. Mr. Richmond, <laughs> you've done a fine thing for your city. Good day. Well, Miss Grant, you fixed us up quite an investment. Oh, thank you. Investment? Oh, that reminds me, Mr. Richmond. Miss Donato left a message this morning. She wants to invest $5,000 in the Flywell property at Belmont. Five? Th we can't take that kind of bet. Uh, I, I, I mean, uh, investment? Uh, Kilcoin, get her on the phone and cancel it. It's too late. Well, what about Flywell? Check the odds. Uh, I mean, the closing market. Yeah, I, I got the investment results right here. Let's see. Uh, oh, Mr. Richmond, hmm? the Flywell property has hit oil at 10 to 1. That means we owe Peggy 50 grand. 50 grand? I, I don't understand, Mr. Richmond. I'll kill her. I'll murder her. Hey, easy, easy, Mr. Kilcoin. <laughs> Unclench your fist and we'll adjourn to the conference room. Dick, I can't stand this. Will you fire that dame? For what? All she did was try to save us money. We can't make her suspicious. Why don't you just shove her off of a nice cliff? Better than that, I'll, I'll make her quit. You mean... I mean, allow me a minute with Miss Grant. She's all yours. Uh, Miss Grant. Yes, sir? You've uh, been doing a swell job. Oh, thank you. I've done my best. Yes, and I have a special way to reward efficient secretaries. You have? Yes, like this. Mr. Richard. Mm. Oh. Oh, Mr. Richmond. Oh. <laughs> How many secretaries have you had? Dozens. 
Oh. Mm. Oh. Doesn't, doesn't this kind of thing give you a lot of trouble with your secretaries? Yes, but it gives me a lot of fun, too. <laughs> Mr. Richmond, you are in the market for a new secretary, young, pretty, and delinquent. <laughs> Hey, kill point. She's gone. 